Hey, hey guys, hope you're doing well and welcome to my newest video. Today we will look at how we can optimize our product data feed with AI. More specifically, how we can optimize our product titles and product descriptions with ChatGPT. We do have the prompt here and everything, so we'll show you in detail today how you can do that. But first of all, let's look at why exactly the product titles or the product descriptions. So you have to understand with your product data feed, you have a lot of different attributes, right? You have the title, you do have the description you have, but you also have a lot of other attributes like you have price, you have the product link, the image link, you have product highlight, product detail, size, color, like there's so many different options. But out of all those options, product titles and the descriptions are one of, one of the most important things in the feed that we actually can optimize to ensure good, oops, good targeting. Good targeting and therefore a quicker learning phase and better performance. And yeah, before I show you the prompt and how you can optimize everything, let's dive a little bit deeper into the theory and a couple of things to consider. So basically like that sentence is the essence of what we want to achieve here. We want to have an accurate and descriptive keyword rich title because you have to understand with shopping ads compared to search ads, for example, you don't have keywords. The targeting is more or less, uh, more or less, um, optimized. So you don't have, have keywords, you don't control that manually. Of course, you have a control to a certain extent, but the targeting mainly happens via your product data feed. So based on all the attributes you have in your feed, um, that determines how your product gets shown. And as I already mentioned, product title and descriptions are one of the main things actually that, that determine the targeting. So that's why we want to have it optimized in the first place and the way to do it. And what we have to consider here is that for the title, we can only use up to 150 characters of those 150 characters. We want to use as many as possible. So we want to use everything and include all the relevant attributes, keywords that might be relevant for us and our brand and the product that we want to optimize. So that's like the first thing we have to consider. And then usually, especially like I have a lot of clients in the fashion industry, so it always depends on the product as well a little bit, but I want to include size, color, material, basically everything that is relevant for, for your target group, everything that's relevant about the product and you want to, to mention could also be technical details or nutrition values. Like it depends on the product, right? Something you should always consider adding is your brand name, gender, maybe age group, and of course, relevant keywords for this product and other relevant attributes in the title. So relevant keywords is like the main thing. There are of course a couple of things to consider because let's look at our example product today. So that's the title here, the basic title, and it's not that bad, you know, but it's also not really optimized for the Google shopping feed. And that's, that's the thing that we have to consider. There's like a difference with, okay, what do we want to show on the side and how should our feed look like? Right. And you can probably imagine if we have a feed like that with all the stuff in there, it looks kind of messy on the side. Like it's a super long title and like it always depends on the product variant as well a little bit. And the thing is, it's like, for the actual product feed, I want to have all that stuff in there, but I do not really want to have it on the side. So that's actually something you have to consider as well. I will not, um, I will not talk, tackle that too much in that video because the way to do it then is, okay, you have a different title on the side and you optimize your feed separately where you have the proper title. You can add it as a sub feed, for example, you can do that with certain feed management tools like data feed watch. That's the tool I use for that right now. 
And yeah, you can also upload that via Google Sheets separately to, to your Google Merchant Center, for example. There you can include all of that. The way I would do it, like to start with the basic feed, I would just add things like definitely keywords, materials, and and that's it, brand name maybe. The rest, the rest, I, I will definitely add the rest later, but I do add them as a subfeed. I do optimize the title separately. So that's something you have to consider if you work with an agency and they do optimize your title separately. And they also have with with data uh, with feed management tools like that, you're also able to structure the the feed in a certain way. So it's always the same structure. You know, for example, I have my main keywords, then I have size, color, gender, age group, brand at last, for example. So it also enables me to, to structure it a certain way. It's rule based and you can do it in bulk then. So you have to consider that if you're working with an agency or if you want to do that, you should that you should do that via um, a sub feed. You can also yeah, get in touch with me if you have any questions about that. But what you can always do and what's that most important thing is to add relevant keywords to make it keyword rich. You can always add material talking about fashion. Now it's definitely a relevant keyword as well. If You can't add that with the structured feed. So yeah, if you want to do that and you want to cut out all the other stuff or replace it with attributes that might be relevant for your product in your niche, just adjust the um, the attributes here. So you just cut it out if you don't need it or replace it with other attributes like, I don't know, technical details, whatever that's relevant for you. But all right, and basically the same with the description. So we had a quick overview again. So the essence again, we want to have a compelling keyword rich description highlighting and that's the main thing main thing features and benefit benefits again to ensure good ad targeting we do have way more capacities here so up to 5000 characters that should be enough at all times similar to above like we want to have the same attributes they're relevant for the targeting and as i said already like structured in a feature and benefit driven way include bullet lists for the main USB. So it's also structured properly, you know, but we will see that later if we actually put in the, the prompt here, you can check it out as well. But all right, let's get started with a proper example. Let's start with the product titles. I will do two versions. Actually, I will show you like the full thing and then the version where I just want to add relevant keywords and I will cut the rest out of works. All right, so let's copy that and let's head over to ChatGPT. And there are only a couple of things you have to replace here from the prompt template. So I need the initial product title. So as you can see, that's quite manual here. Like that's not something you would do in bulk. But you can do that, like it depends on how many products you have. You can definitely do that for your best sellers. And in my opinion, it's always better to focus on quality than quantity anyway, if you want to stand out. Okay. That should be it. So we can let it run. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's already way better. So we have the brand name here now. A couple of leggings, the size form, the fit basically. Size, specify size. Okay, it couldn't, couldn't crawl the size. Doesn't matter, like you can do it manually. I mean, it always depends there. But that's exactly why I do cut things like that out. Like I do not want to do that like with every product like that. I can do that in a structured way with a feed management tool. So the only thing that I usually want to do if I do it like that, I only want to add keywords and the rest I do with a proper feed management tool. So let's try again. Let's try again with some adjustments. Oops. 
<clears throat> All right. And the Earl again. And now we will cut out what we don't need. So we don't want size color. We can keep the brand name and stuff like that, but it's also something I would add with, with the feed tool. But let's leave it for now. Like again, it always depends a little bit on your unique situation. There's no one size fits all approach. And that's it basically. Let's see. So it actually added the gender as well, but that's fine. I actually did it in a similar way, but it's also, it's also tricky because I already put in a prompt before. So it kind of uses that as well, but that's fine actually. Overall, it looks really good. Like I can add size, color and stuff like that separately. Color is already there, but that's not really like the color you want to add to the Merchant Center. But that's definitely something you can work with and we have the brand still here kept that but that's definitely like way better as a basic title for the feed compared to what we have here and that's the goal of that right you want to add certain keywords because that title will ensure that we have a much much better targeting and that's like the main goal that's why we optimize titles right it just makes way more sense we have proper keywords in there we have the brand in there we have the target group in there, the agenda stuff like that so yeah, really, really good. And now we can do the same with the description. So I will show you. So we'll copy that. Like super simple to use the prompt as well. You copy your current description. Ah, and something I forgot to mention earlier, like big disclaimer. Do not actually write everything with AI. Use it as inspiration because if you like, if too much content on your on your site is written with AI, like Google will pick that up, can lead to a Google Merchant Center suspension, like misrepresentation, for example, or the website needs improvement stuff. So can be tricky. Be careful with that. I would use it as inspiration and always make sure to yeah, adjust it a little bit. But yeah, so. We have it already. Yeah, let's do we need here input current product description. So we will copy that. So yeah, you need of course um or it's definitely recommended if you already have a description, you can use it as a basis. And of course, if you already have a great description, like you can, it's even easier to optimize it though with that prompt. But the minimum that you need is like a Good landing page with enough content on it otherwise it will be hard to, to optimize stuff here so. and yeah if we compare that with the initial description which is not bad actually but yeah that's way way better it looks a little bit differently compared to what I had today in the morning when I tried it because it also added some of that stuff as well which it didn't do right now like it had an extra section for yeah the way it's structured here I don't really like it but you can adjust it a little bit if you make bullet point lists here as well but again it's just this it should help you as an inspiration maybe you can i mean it will always depends how it how it will show you so you can of course always work with some additional prompts to make it even better if you see there's something you don't like so i would adjust that section you can do it manually you can write another prompt but overall like that part looks really really good the first section looks really nice as well So yeah, that's something we can work with and then we can replace it. 
All right. So yeah, let me think, is there anything else worth noting? No, I think that would be it. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, questions about the, the way you should set up feeds, the way you should set up your product title. Let me know if you have any questions about the prompt. And also let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on how you how you can even how you can make the prompt even better that would be interesting there's always room for improvement that's just a quick draft that i did today looks already pretty promising but i'm sure like this there's, there's a lot of stuff we can still improve there and make it even better so let me know thanks for watching again and see you in the next video bye